The format, as we know it, or I guess kind of know it because Rise of the Duelist only came out like two weeks ago, has changed forever. You might even discover the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, a nearly unstoppable fusion of Dark Magician and Red Eyes Black Dragon. Bold on nearly, my dude, a nearly unstoppable fusion. Let's crack in. One fat whole European case coming your way here. And the interesting thing about this set is that it's so massive that literally every card is hard to pull. 249 cards in the main set altogether, 27 of those being Prismatic Secrets, 50 Ultras, 37 Supers, and then 21 Rares and 114 Commons. Now I am interested to see the inside packaging for EU tins because uh, America has the yellow Mega Packs, we're probably gonna have just pure tin foil. Yeah, okay, as I expected, there we go. But uh, yeah, each pack has one secret, two ultras, and two supers. If you add up all of those ratios, you're expected to get 1.44 of every ultra per case, 1.33 of every secret, and 1.95 of every super. So literally one case does not guarantee you a playset of anything. I mean, like, probably not even commons, to be honest. So uh, here in pack number one, we have Chaos Betrayer, Yard Dragon Mar Dark, like a dark slight for the Sky Dragon. Tenyi Spirit Mapura, Mortschlag. Dude thinks his sword is a pickaxe. Go on, man, you know better than that. Dino Wrestler, Martial Anga, Speed Burst Dragon, Bye Bye Damage for our super rare. So it's different to the usual order that Megatons come in. The rare's normally at the front. Uh, Nightmare Incarnation Idli is our second super. Destined Rivals, oh, I forgot. We got three new cards in addition to Dragoon, and they all kind of suck. This one's like a skill drain, I guess. If you control Blue Eyes or Dark Magician, negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls until the end of this turn. So, a trap trick target skill drain, I guess. Gladiator Beast Dominatius, and a Prismatic Secret Rare Crackdown. Very nice, very nice, can't complain about that. There is a lot of cards in this set that I really want, mainly because like literally every Dragon Link card is in here at a rarity bump level, except Galactic Spiral. Come on, they did my boy dirty. He deserves like super or something at least. To pack number two, Tyrant Dino Fusion. Look at them having a little arm wrestle. Tenny Spirit Adhara, Hita, the Fire Charmer Ablaze. Still no super shiny version, just a super max rarity. Uh, Almer Duke, three Link Monsters, Super Poly Target, Guard Dragon Cataclysm, Medolce Teacher, Glassu Flay, Whitefish Salvage as our Super, Speed Lift as our second Super, Fusion Destiny as an Ultra, so uh, that's pretty cool, I guess, and Psychic Wheelader with Witchcrafter, Hain, Hain, Hainy. Kind of reminds me of Mana Dragon Zernatron's artwork for some reason, just because of all the colors. Final pack of the first. Tin. How many Dragoons are we going to get in the case? On average, you can expect about one. If we're lucky, two. If we're super lucky, three. We have Valkyrie number five. Guard Dragon Reincarnation. This is exactly what we need. We got Deck Mummy killed by the ban list, being revived by uh, our watchful angel Guard Dragon thing. Fennec, Dark Factory, Sunlight Wolf has a common. The value of this thing has just been smashed into the ground and stamped on. Sly Dolphin. Evil Eye Retribution as a super, so they have like Infinity Chasers and other side sets in here as well. Astra Ghouls, okay. Valkyrie Six and Witchcrafter Masterpiece, followed by Gallant Granite in Prismatic Secret Rare. Pretty nice. Frezvelger, the Desperate Doom Eagle. All right, on to the next tin, my boys. Pow. It's a real shame we don't get any promos. I'm really, really interested to see what the price on Dragoon is going to be since we don't have any promos in these tins. So the value is literally distributed through the entire set. Uh, Tyrant Dino Fusion, Chimera T-Rexel, Rexdol, Core Awakening, Mardark, Slifer the Sky Dragon, gone bad. Hyper Psychic Riser, Sea Star, Soul of Anguish in Super Rare, followed by Witchcrafter Scroll, Pyro Phoenix as an Ultra. Destined Rivals again, and Witchcrafter, Edel. Just looks like a reskinned Marincess card though. Same pose of like, was it Blue Slug or something? 
uh, chain hall mandarin. I mean, look at that. They're the same picture. All right, give me that prismatic LP. We have Core Awakening, Speed Burst Dragon, Morgeslag, Mr. 99 Mining Pickaxe Dude, Guard Dragon and Drake, Bezel Ship, You're in Danger. Still waiting on the Danger T Rex here. Zerziel, Ruler of the Evil Eyed. Man, I didn't even know this card existed. I thought they had like two, two monsters, three monsters. Uh, Witchcrafter Scroll, Witchcrafter Pator. I think we've had a Witchcrafter core already in two tins. That's mad. Spin turn. Okay, and another Hine. We've already got a duplicate. Wow, and regular. A bunch of other commons. Catoblipa. Can't say I'm too impressed so far. This pack here is really going to need to give us something. We have a Paro, Trickstar Fusion, Shthana, our boy Coca-Cola from the Deck Mommy Days. Rest in peace. Marshall Ankelo, Flamvel Lady, Blue Tang as a Super now. Mermail, Abyslacia, No Material as an Ultra, Strength in Unity, Dragon Master Knight, very cool. And Romulus in Prismatic Secret Rare. Now, I'm really hoping we don't get a freaking Zodiac situation here where, wow, we get all these amazing Dragon Link cards and then they just get banned in the next list. It does look really nice in Prismatic Secret though. Very cool. And we got Valkyrie Virte. All right. Glassoufle, Cross Crusader. That's a common really didn't deserve to get downgraded in rarity. Man, that's, that's a disgrace to hero players. Apple of Enlightenment, Connector, Reincarnation, Petting Sessur, Borrelode, X-Charge Dragon as a super rare. Witchcrafter Creation as a super rare. Evil Eye Defeat, Appaloza, Bow of the Goddess. Now, you could never have imagined this card being like £20. It's about £20 right now, which is insane, honestly. And it's getting reprinted again in the Gold series, so... Interested to see how the value for this thing turns out, but boy, it's not quite starlight shiny, but it does It does look okay Very nice And uh, Time Thief Redoer as well as a prismatic secret rare. That's very cool Definitely deserved the rarity bump that it got and link mail arch fiend All right, so this is looking like a good tin this one. We got Apoloza. If we get anything else then it's literally like bank in one tin We got Bigfoot Flyback, Shthana Cliffhanger, Promenesis, Foxer, Witchcrafter Scroll, Marincess Seahorse, Witch's Strike. Remember when this card was like 80 pound on pre-order? Jesus. And Infinitrack Fortress Mega Clops, the Zodiac card basically. And Magicalized Fusion. So I didn't expect this to get reprinted. This uh this really helps with Dragoon Turbo basically because you red eyes fusion, get the materials in the graveyard, and then Magicalized Fusion just summons another one. Obviously not in the same turn because you get the restriction off of Verte Anaconda, but yeah, I thought the super was going to go up in value, and then we get the secret, so they've definitely like covered all bases with their reprints here. And the final pack in tin number three, we have a little Wolvi, Wolverino, Atara, Connector, Synchron as a common, got rarity downgraded once again, Coca-Cola, Marshall Ankelo, Zerziel once again, Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid as a super rare. Super Anti Kaiju War Machine Mecha Thunder King. No way, it's gonna be Red Eyes Dragoon in the same tin as Apheloza. Oh, fuck. Gladiator Beast Domitianus. Come on, man. No need for the blue balls. And then Neos Fusion. That's kind of cool, I guess. Danger, excitement, mystery. Pop. Oh. Galamides Sea Star. Fusion of Fire. Petting Sessur. Oh, hey, this will actually come in handy for our Salamangre deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! from scratch, because we never actually had Fusion of Fire. Or was it Violet Chimera? I can't remember what one we're missing. Uh, Core Awakening. Is Violet Chimera in here? I guess we'll find out. Speed Burst, Dragon, Wailing of the Unchained Souls, Dances with Beast. There is the king. The format warping, almost misprint. Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon name there, almost uh, unaligned. So that could have been could have been a misprint, which would have been sick. But, oh boy, this card is actually insane. You're literally gonna see it absolutely everywhere for good reason, because destroy two monsters, non-targeting, burn your opponent, can't be targeted or destroyed, 
negate, literally an omni negate, gains permanent attack, actually just insane. So uh, there is our first one. Are we going to pull another? I guess we'll find out. Marincess, Marbled Rock, and Trickstar, Corobane as Prismatic Secret. Actually looks really nice. So close to a freaking ultra rare misprint there. And a bunch of commons. All right, so we got Dragoon. What else does this tin have in store? Got Flyback, Andrake, Bezel Ship, Terra Parcurio, Terra Parcurio, Giga, Spino Savate. The names on these things are ridiculous. Pirate, Test Panther in Super, Unchained Soul of Disaster, Witchcrafter Shmieta, Mech Knight Avramax, and Gizmek Yatta. I don't know why this got a Prismatic Secret, but you know, I'm not complaining, looks pretty cool. But Avramax, along with the Dragoon, this is a pretty sweet tin, my guy. Barricade Borg Blocker as a rare. What else could we possibly get out of this? We have Bigfoot again, Escrima Menchi. Man, are these based on actual dinosaurs or are they just fucking spitting letters together? Violet Chimera, okay, that is in here, very nice. So uh, so we do have potential upgrades to the Salomon Great deck, I suppose, very cool. Tenny Spirit, Mapura, Recurience, that's a common. Garmides, Evil Eye Mesmerism, Super FA, Shining Star GT, Super Gizmek Orochi, the Serpentron Sky Slasher. Man, this tin here has been actually insane. Anchor Drill, which was like a 30 or 40 pound secret rare. Nice to see that getting reprinted. And Mystic Mine, ugh, God, <laughs> oh man. The murderer of our tournament run. But uh, you know, it's fine, it's okay. The Ultra names are really close to being misprinted, which is interesting. But Mystic Mine, very good tin there, very good value. And a Valkyrie Virte. All right, give me the juice. Give me a second Dragoon. We have Wolvie, Reincarnation, Synchron, Factory, Garmidas, Dolphin, Repose, Super Rare, kind of miscut, I guess. Gladiator, Rejection, Mountain Smasher, okay. Dragon Master Knight and World Legacy Monstrosity. Got a Prismatic Secret Rare slot. That's really nice. World Legacy Guard Dragon's the one I'm after though. And a Lodi's Flame. Right, we got little ball boy, Mardark, Slifer, the Dark Dragon, Feats of Strength, Mining Boy, he's kinda, kinda Papega, Cliffhanger, Speed Burst, Unchained Soul of Disaster. These supers are starting to get a little bit miscut here. Wailing of Unchained Soul, oh, wow, look at this, Unchained Core, bro. Unchained Soul of Rage, Brotar as an ultra rare, very cool. And a third, Heine, are you serious? Every secret rare comes at a 1.33 ratio per case. And we've literally got three Heine, three Hein, and we're not even halfway through the case. This is not a good sign. We've got Capshaw there as well. But uh, yeah, basically a Unchained Core in one pack, hell yeah. Next up, Hita, Rambracchio, Cataclysm, Flamvel, Cross Crusader, Shield. We've got Dances with Beast, little thick gorilla booty there. Kind of looks like he's wearing a thong, the way they've done that. But uh, okay, this guy's, he's like, whoa, look how thick he is. Okay, whatever. Astra Goals, Memories of Hope, Witchcrafter by Street, and Prismatic Secret, Danger Ogopogo. All right, we're gonna be halfway through after this tinny here. Kind of lacking when it comes to the Dragon Link cards, but you know, still got half a case to go. Boom, we have Sunlight Wolf at the front, followed by Big Bony Dinosaur Man. Promenesis, another yellow dolphin, Cross Crusader, Sea Star, Pendulum Halt, Shinobi Necro, Successor Soul, one of the new cards again. Starleash Seifert as an ultra rare, possibly killing the value of the cards. Dragon Link is a very cheap deck now, but very nice to see a more accessible printing of Seifert and Unchained Abomination in Prismatic Secret Rare. Man, that looks really nice. Katobibla. Okay, we got Chariot, Reincarnation, Mapura, Arm Wrestle, Justicia, Core Awakening, Marincess, Seahorse, in Super, Blue Tang, Valkyrie number 60, Witchcrafter Masterpiece, and another Magicalized Fusion, followed by Spirit Sculptor. Give me the goods. We got Foxer, Farfa, calm down. 
Uh, Destiny Hero Draw Hand, Trickstar Fusion, Subterror Succession, Fusion of Fire, Cataclysm, Shining Star GT, Overburst Dragon, Destined Rivals, another Gladiator Beast, Dominatius, Domitianus, but the Pot of Extravagance following up there in Prismatic Secret Rare. Very, very nice, although it is like, what, our fourth or fifth printing of Extravagance in total, including Collector's Rare, which is pretty nutty, but still a very expensive card. So uh, <laughs> that's cool, I guess. Link Mail Archfiend and some commons. Yeah. Bazel, Glassoufle, Hyper Psychic Riser, Justicia, Foxer, Cliffhanger, Speedlift in Super, Soul of Anguish, Pitor in Ultra, Spin Turn, and Mascarena in Prismatic Secret. Not quite Starlight, but you know, it looks nice. I'll give it that. Just so many valuable cards, honestly. I'm really excited to add up all the values because I, I've not actually looked at the prices since uh, the tins have come out. We have Cross Crusader, Apple, Connector, Ball Boy, Reincarnation, Bigfoot, Flyback, Borrowload, X Charge again, Blue Slug, Peaceful Burial, and Ultra because, uh, sure. Pottery, and wow, okay. Back to back Mascarenas. You know, I'll take that. That's uh, definitely, definitely not a bad thing to get. Yo, wait, is that in the same tin? We got two Mascarenas in the same tin. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Can we get a third Mascarena from the same tin? We have Andrake, Succession, Hack, Betrayer, Chariot, Apple of Enlightenment, Witchcrafter Scroll, Princess Blue Tan, Domain, Pariadolia, and damn it, we did not get a third Mascarena. We got an Edel in Prismatic Secret. We're getting quite a lot of duplicates here actually, but man, two Mascarenas in one tin, that's pretty cool. Imagine getting two Dragoons in one tin. Uh, not too long ago, we have another Flyback. Andrake, Almadruk, Terra, Parkurio, Giga, oh man, yeah, shut up. Glassoufle, Cyanet Mining, finally in Super Rare. Still not seen Phantasme either, but uh, Cyanet Mining is very cool. Witchcrafter Scroll, Harvester, Storm Dragon's Return in Ultra, and oh boy, 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 oh boy. Gar Dragon LP, Prismatic Secret Rare Man. I thought this little line here was a foil shift, but uh, no, it's just the artwork, I guess. Oh man, that looks gorgeous. Can't wait to use this bad boy. Next up here, we have Armidas, Sea Star, Dolphin, Pet Incessor, Core Awakening, Atara, Astra Goals, Ghouls as Super Witchcrafter Creation, Pottery, Valkyrie Sext, and Pisty in the same tin as the LP. Gorgeous. I told you, literal, literal Dragon Link starter pack here. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. And Gorgon as a rare. Gato Blipa. All right, can we complete the Dragon Link starter pack and get like a Brotar, Seyfert, and World Legacy Gar Dragon in the same pack? Find out after the ads. <laughs> Wolvi, Atara, Reincarnation, Rocket Synchron, Coca-Cola, Dark Factory, Gladiator Rejection as a Super Pendulum Halt. We've got Gizmek, Orochi, the Serpentron, Sky Slasher, Infinitrack, Anchor Drill, and Sky Striker Ace Kaina in Prismatic Secret. I forgot she was in this. I guess she uh, deserved a Prismatic along with the rest of the others. Moving swiftly on here. Yay! Quite a lot of cards that we haven't seen so far. Uh, Pegasus Wing, Cliffhanger, Andrake, Time Thief Hack, Chaos Betrayer, Apple of Enlightenment, Dances with the Beasts, that's a super rare, Beat Raptor, Infinitrack Goliath, Marincess Marble Drock, and a second Gar Dragon LP. Very nice. And was that Monoceros as well. Mapura, t Russell, Marchalanga, Hyper Psychic Riser, five, well, fünfte. Trickstar Fusion, Valkyrie Erda, which is a super, so that goes down there. Evil Eye Retribution, Witchcrafter Holiday, Storm Dragon's Return again, and another Gizmek Yatta, the Gleaming Vanguard with a Gorgon as well. Galactic Spiral always seems to be at the end of the pack. That's, uh, that's interesting. All right, we have Fennec, Marshall Ankylo, Sunlight Wolf, Giga, yep. Dino Fusion, Rocket Synchron, Mermail, Abyssalatia as Super Winder, got super rare as well. Golem Aruru, Cherubini, 
Ebon Angel of the Burning Abyss. This is the first time we've seen her. Very nice reprint. And Boreload. Savage Dragon. Prismatic Secret Rare. Oh, man. This thing is beautiful. This is a rarity bump I can really get on board with. Can't wait to use this. Can't wait to pull it in Yu-Gi-Oh! from scratch because we'll probably never get Dragoon. And definitely not a ban-worthy card, but beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Followed by a Fjorte. Three tins remain. And I can't think of anything that we haven't pulled yet that we do need to pull. I mean, that's actually good. I guess Phantasme as a super and World Legacy Guard Dragon as I believe a prismatic secret. Uh, so we have Mining Man, Hita, the Fire Charmer, You're in Danger, T Rex, Marshall Anga, Valkyrie Funft, Subterra Succession, Number XX Utopic Dark Infinity as a super. I think that's our first one of those. Uh, Winder, Serziel, Watcher of the Evil Eye. Outrigger extension and another Corobane, followed by rare aloof lupine. We have Chaos Betrayer, Chimera Tech, Chimera T Wrestle, Fennec, Terra, Almerduk, Pegasus, Wing, Nightmare Incarnation, Idli, Speedlift, Harvester, Storm Dragon's Return, and Destiny Hero Dominance as a prismatic secret rare. Did he even play this? I'm not so sure. Guru got rare. Okay. Very cool. Rambrachio, Pegasus, Shield, Time Thief Hack, Dark Factory, Chariot, Borrowload X Charge, we got Mermail, Abyssalatia once again, Pottery and Ultra, Sext, and ooh, Prismatic Secret, Draco, Berserker of the Tenyi. That looks pretty nice. I think all synchros just look nice in Prismatic Secret Rare. It's very cool. And uh, White Howling as a rare. Looks like we're just getting one Dragoon, boys. One Dragoon. Although I am pretty sure that we have plussed. I don't know values, but we've pulled quite a lot of good cards. Here we have Reincarnation, Rocket Synchron, Coca-Cola, Dark Factory, Garmidas, Sea Star, uh, Blue Slug as a Super, Evil Eye Repose, Sarziel, Watcher of the Evil Eye, Outrigger Extension, and a second Guard Dragon Pisty. Time the Regulator as well as a rare. See, Spiral at the back once again. Next up we have Bezel Ship, You're in Danger, Marshall Anga, Paro, Funfte, Subterror Succession, Zerziel as a Super, Firewall Exceed, Pyro Phoenix, Destined Rivals, and a third Guard Dragon Pisty. Imagine these were like Borrowload Savage or something. That would be insane. Here we have a Violet Chimera, Sunlight Wolf, Dinosaur, Garmides, Promenesis, Yellow Dolphin, Blue Slug, Super Rare, Whitefish, Salvage, No Material, Strength and Unity, and a, is that a third LP as well? Along with a Pisty in the same tin, and Collaboration. Well, it comes down to the final tin, and we haven't pulled a Phantasme or a World Legacy Guard Dragon. So, I guess variance is a thing as always, you're not guaranteed anything. Here we have Violet Chimera, Shtana, Draw Hand, Flamvel, Wolvi, Almarduke, Erda and Exceed as our supers, Dirge and Evil Eye of Selene, and then Echina, followed by Crystal Heart. Here we have Reincarnation, Mapura, Justicia, Core Awakening, Martial Anklo, Sea Star, Creation as our first super, Trencher, River Stormer, and Psychic Wielder with a Prismatic Secret Mystic Mine, and Emperor Maju Garzet for Zira. And that brings us to the final pack of the case opening. Can we get Extravagance? Can we get Apollosa? Can we get Dragoon? Can we get Borrowed Savage? Can we get Phantasme or World Legacy Guard Dragon? Give us something. Cross Crusader. Princess Sea Star, Draw Hand, Trickstar Fusion, Fusion of Fire. Let's take five from the back. Uh, Vessel for the Dragon Cycle, Abominable, Abominable Chamber of the Unchained, Draw Discharge, Princess Snow, Burning Shell, Cataclysm, Rogue of Endymion as our first super. 
followed by Test Panther, Win, the Wind Charmer Verdant. So this is the first time we've seen this in the entire case, which is cool, I guess. Followed up by Marincess Coral Anemone, also the first time we've seen this one. And for the Prismatic Secret, we have Shaman of the Tenny. Also the first time we've seen this one. So we've definitely missed out on quite a lot of cards in a full case here. You're definitely not guaranteed anything. Now, I don't really think there's any point in doing ratios here because we didn't really pull that many of each card. I guess it will be cool to see how much cards we are missing. So I'll come back with that. So for the secret rares, we got 24 different ones in total, meaning we are missing three of the 27 secret rares. One of those being World Legacy Guard Dragon. The other two, I am really not sure what they are, to be honest. For the super rares, we got 36 out of 37. And uh, that one super rare that we're missing is uh, Phantasme. So that's a shame. We did, however, get five Witchcrafter scrolls. Like, come on, man. Don't give me that. And finally, for the ultra rares, we got 46 out of the 50. So we're missing four ultras. And I'm not actually sure what those ultras are, but yeah, we almost hit every card in the entire set. We're just missing a couple of pieces here and there. A lot of the multiples we did get for the ultras are like trash cards like Valkyrie, Sext, and uh, Dis Destined Rivals. So uh would have been very nice to get four Dragoons, but you know, can't have it all. But uh, yeah, that has been our case. No misprints either, unfortunately, but you know, misprints are super rare. So I'm pretty scared to see how long it's going to take for us to get everything we need in Yu-Gi-Oh from scratch out of the tins. Could take us a while or we could get super lucky. Here's hoping, here's hoping. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching this uh, case opening, your favorite pack opening channel. Unfortunately, trash tier content. Like and subscribe if you want to see more things like this. We open a case of every set that comes out and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Do you know?